Welcome to this video playing Lunatic X. Let's see what we got here from uh, Czech Republic. Going for a Sicilian. So you have a name here Petr Michalik. Okay. Going for the Kalashnikov. Don't know that very well, but let's uh, let's see. Trying to um, get a playable Sicilian position without any uh, huge theoretical workload. Check. Um, not sure that this was auto great, but yeah, because of that. But okay, it's still a very very solid position for Black. Nothing that worries me too much. Knight to b6 maybe, and Bishop c4. Is this his idea? Maybe. Hmm, interesting. Knight d4, is this uh, takes, takes? Trying to play against the knight here. Hmm. Okay, let's let's castle first and then reconsider. Um, again, knight d4 is maybe possible. Takes, takes, queen takes, bishop f6 is very likely okay for me. Maybe queen b4. Hmm. Cannot play bishop g5, which I would like to do. Takes, takes, pawn takes. Hmm, bishop a6, queen b4. I still feel that this is the right move somehow. If he takes it twice, knight to c4, I have b5. Okay, let's let's do this. Well, based on the fact that I have this tempo. And now I thought a5, because there's also b2 attacked. Maybe he can just play queen b5 but then there's bishop d4 for more activity okay bishop d4 yeah it's not brilliant right hmm, but okay there's nothing else really that I am um, that I have here yeah, now I can take and try to play I can take and play Queen f6 actually so that I attack b2 and f2 or Queen f6 immediately is this uh, any better I don't know but uh, I think I have uh, decent chances to get a good compensation here or get the pawn back at least and then maybe I lose a5 but I have um, some things going in my favor here mostly the very good bishop okay I'm going here and then put the bishop on c5 here or is there some some better some better idea. Okay, I need to I need to go there in any case, so might as well do this right now. Let's uh, fortify. Ah, yes, he wants to play rook f three. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Uh, something I should have tried to prevent. Okay, let's try to get the queens off at least. Yeah, mm, this is here. 
Rook e8, g6, king g7 is my plan to finally at the end try to get uh, get this pressure uh, get rid of this pressure on the on f7 yeah i'm a pawn down but the real question is the the question of activity if i manage to um let's say get rid of this pressure on f7 and trade uh, trade um, trade rooks then i don't have any problems whatsoever rook e5 and f5 is a is a suitable way to try to accomplish that yeah i can take f2 now if i want getting to a rook end game i think um, I can play g4. Uh, only I have, I have bishop e3 check, so I can actually take bishop e6. I still have bishop e3. Okay. Time warning. Bishop e3. Check. And uh, we have a dead position now. Draw offered. Are you playing this on really? <laughs> oh, Check. what a poor person. Draw offered. Yeah, if you have too much time on your hands, you can play uh, positions like that. Unfortunately, it's, it's so drawish that I have absolutely no no idea yeah. here uh, to to punish him for that. <laughs> it's simply so dead that uh, I can do I can do nothing. All right, now I win a pawn even. Draw offered. Game drawn. Okay. <laughs> So um, I I think that I should have been in trouble somehow, but um, it didn't really materialize. Maybe this uh, way of gaining counterplay was okay. I wasn't sure really. A5, oh, the computer really likes black. So did I overlook something promising here? Ah. Queen h4 is an interesting move. How could I miss my favorite move? Queen h4. <laughs> yeah, that's really interesting. Attacking here and after castles, you take the pawn. So black gets the pawn back and he has this active position. Yeah, I understand here really only black can be better. The computer gives black half a pawn, so pretty much what you can expect for a bishop pair position hmm. no i didn't consider that i was i was beforehand i was planning this and i thought that this uh, type of position should give me uh, decent chances to uh, to have activity for for my uh, for my pawn so if you look at the position i'm, I'm let's say i'm lacking the a pawn here and this is not very important i have a good position with this bishop what really is a problem is this uh, potential pressure on f7, but I'm not sure that he really should trade queens here. Maybe he should try to keep the queens on. I mean, here, is this really so so bad for me? Yeah. Maybe there is some way for him to to put more pressure on me, but I wasn't really seeing anything. I think once we got to this point, I'm pretty much okay. Even if the computer loves white, but the drawing tendencies of the opposite colored bishops are clearly there. And, uh, 
it here. I thought he would play f4 here. This uh, is still a substantial try, but he blundered the f2 pawn. f4 is, uh, is of course, something that white definitely can try. It's, it has enormous, uh, enormous uh, drawing tendencies, but it, uh, this is something that white can definitely play on with uh, justification. After this, it's it's just uh, Check. just totally dead. Okay, thanks for watching.